And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Benil Daryush. Ready to fight. Ready. So ever since winning season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter, the finishes have continued to pile up for Tony Ferguson. He is must-see TV, as offensively gifted as any fighter on the roster, and has as good a cardio department as anybody on the roster. We'll see how Ferguson chooses to approach this particular challenge tonight. All right, so the boxer had a lot of confidence in his takedown defense. 0 for 1, though, so far. Yeah, so how much does Ferguson's going for the sub here? Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Look at him, he's starting to posture. Oh, my goodness. He, oh. he slams him down, uses straight power to escape that triangle choke. Great job, great technique. I mean, great physicality yeah. by this youngster. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. And now he's got the back. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh, go on Kimura now. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, big shots from the top. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Beautiful transition. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Tony Ferguson. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. Darius is in half court. Nice defense. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, he bails on the submission now. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Darius is trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, compromise. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Take a seat. Deep breath for me. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to punch. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you Ready see, when you're Ready. on the ground with him, you're in danger. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Where you can rest with most guys, you got to be very aware against this guy, or he's going to catch you in something that you can't get out of. Lunges forward with a left there. Taken down now by Doryush. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Ferguson's trying to get a triangle submission here. 
Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he escaped. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Dariush is in half guard now. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Constantly a moving target. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Big ground and pound. Ferguson's back in full mount. Lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. That was a slick transition. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. 30 seconds to go in round two. El Cuckoo, he's in half guard. 15 seconds. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Nice work. I need another round. One more round of that ground control. Take him down. Stay heavy. Oh. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Oh, hook to the head by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Single leg takedown is good. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Push him up! Push him up! Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Daryush. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Push off his head and posture. He passes the half. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Darius has got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Ground and pound strike there now. North-south position. Crowd just can't help itself but to laugh. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you. You can attack guillotine 
If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Close guard while working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Doryush. He passes to half guard. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Doryush is back in half guard. All right, full guard now, DC. Yes, full guard. Watch for the top fighter to either posture or look to pass right away. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Ferguson's back in full mount. Setting up an arm lock now. It's in there deep. There you go. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. An incredible fight as long as it played out, and we will need the judges' scorecards. Tremendous back and forth affair tonight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 29-28, Ferguson. Judge two scores it, 29-29. And judge three scores it, 30-29. For the winner by majority decision, Tony El Kakui Ferguson! Well, must see TV every step of the way. El Kukui, Tony Ferguson getting his hand raised inside the octagon. That has become a familiar...